we've got a lot of information from Twitter this week from Elon and Tesla with information about the full self-driving computer, price increases, updates on feature releases, and a whole lot more. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Jeff here from Pure Tesla. This week we have a lot of information coming your way. I'm going to synthesize it as best as possible, so hang on, here we go. The Tesla full self-driving computer is currently in production in Model S, X, and 3 vehicles. Elon stated that it is in production and of only about 5% compute load, 10% with full redundancy. This is tremendous news because the NVIDIA version of their computer, which is in any car up until about a week ago, carried an 80% computational load under current normal circumstances. So we're very excited to see the production of the full self-driving computer and additional information about how all owners will get it is coming up next. Somebody responded to Elon's tweet saying that, is there a way to find out which hardware version you have without removing the glove box? Elon replied to that saying, it doesn't matter at this point which version of the hardware you have because we are currently not utilizing the full computational power of that computer. When it does become important later on this year, Tesla will be sending out information about how to get that computer swapped out. A very relevant response to that asking, will you have to go to the service center for that or is something that mobile service can handle? Elon responded that mobile service can change out that computer, no problem. With regards to multiple redundancy, how does that work? Elon responded that the full self-driving computer has two independent system on a chip architecture with each system on a chip having two neural net accelerators that can perform simultaneous health check calculations to protect against the soft error. So what that really means is that there are two independent computers, so to speak, running in tandem. So that if something happens to one, the other is immediately able to take over. He used this in an interview actually, where he talked about this computer and its full redundancy. He used the example that a bullet could pierce the computer and because there is that full redundancy with a system on a chip, there would be no effect to the driving of the car. In line with the full self-driving conversation, Elon tweeted out that Everyone should know that the full self-driving option will increase substantially over time. Elon responded to that saying, yes, all cars AP 2.0 and higher are capable of being retrofitted. That includes almost 400,000 of the Tesla vehicles in service today. To try and put a number to the amount of the increase, somebody tweeted to Elon stating, like a few thousand dollar increase, maybe 3,000. And Elon responded saying something like that. So at least it gives us a little bit of perspective to understand what kind of price increase we're talking. I would imagine anywhere between a two and $4,000 price increase when those full self-driving option features increase in price. In response to Elon's tweet about the increase in full self-driving option pricing, Fred Lambert from Electric responded asking, is this what you meant by the appreciating value of the Tesla? And Elon responded, yes. Now it's referring to the interview that he did that he stated that Teslas are an appreciating asset. And largely that's to do with the ability to do software upgrades and how easy it is to do hardware upgrades such as the full self-driving computer swap out, which is very simple. It's a plug and play type device. In response to the full self-driving conversation, somebody tweeted to Elon stating that the full self-driving option might be better as a subscription service. Elon responded to that stating that there will be that option, but the economics will favor initially purchasing that option. With regards to the Model Y and full self-driving, especially as it relates to price increases in the future, somebody tweeted to Elon stating that if I pay my deposit for my Model Y now and include the full self-driving option, will my price stay the same? Elon responded, yes, it will. With regards to the neural net and the way at which it learns from corrections that you make while on autopilot, somebody tweeted to Elon saying, especially for those people that drive the same route every day, autopilot and full self-driving makes the same mistake every day. It'd be great to review and flag your errors and improve your own local drive. Elon responded that your interventions actually do help train the neural net, but it's something that they review in order to make sure that any changes do not negatively impact other components that are unforeseen. So while there are additional changes to the neural net, they're done in step increases as opposed to live in the vehicle. With regards to the full self-driving rumored price increase that Elon referred to, people outside of the US are stating, hey, that's pretty bad news for those of us that can't even order a Model 3 yet. Elon responded that, 
Hopefully the order page will be live before then. If not, they will postpone the increase in pricing until those of you that have yet to been able to order a Model 3 have the opportunity to do so. Specifically to the Czech Republic, people are wondering, I'd love to be able to take advantage of this, but after two years of waiting, we still can't order the car. Elon responded stating, it's coming this year. Elon tweeted that the left-hand driving order page should be live in the next couple of weeks with deliveries starting as early as June and July. He then corrected himself to mean the right-hand drive because left-hand drive has been available for quite some time. Somebody responded to him saying that Slovakia doesn't even sell the Model 3 at this point. Elon responded that that's coming this year as well. With regards to the Tesla automation day for investors, somebody asked, can we get an update on that? Elon responded that on April 22nd, investor autonomy day, Tesla will free investors from the tyranny of having to drive their own car. So it sounds like there's a lot of awesome things coming on that investor day. I can't wait to see what unfolds there. And we'll certainly have more information as we see what was shared on April 22nd. As I covered in one of my previous videos and a link to the description below, the Tesla lineup has changed and the way in which they offer some of the features in the vehicles have also changed, including autopilot being included in the base price that did come with a price increase. That said, somebody responded to Tesla's tweet about those changes stating that, so what about the rest of us who bought it at full price? Elon responded to that stating that, so if we raise prices in the future, do we expect you to cut us a check? Can't have it both ways. So somebody responded to that stating, so how often do we expect these pricing fluctuations to happen? Elon responded that other automakers change prices constantly and substantially by varying their rebates and discounts according to negotiating the strength of the buyer. Tesla is transparent and consistent in their messaging and pricing. Elon retweeted a tweet from Tesla Roddy with regards to the safety of autopilot, saying that there was only one accident in 2.87 million miles driven with autopilot engaged. This is comparative to one accident to 1.7 million miles driven without it engaged. This is from NHTSA crash test information. With response to that, somebody said, awesome job on autopilot, really love it, but have one feature request. Swerve the car when possible to avoid small potholes or other debris in the road. Elon said, definitely. So that's great news for those of you that live in areas that get a lot of snow, therefore have a lot of snow plows, and you know what snow plows do to roads, they totally destroy them. So if you live in an area with a lot of potholes, it sounds like in the near future, or at least in the future, the Tesla will be able to detect potholes and hopefully actively avoid them. So the big question, Enhanced 7, about a week ago, maybe a little bit more at this point, Elon had tweeted that Enhanced Summon was gonna be rolling out in the next week. Somebody said, Enhanced Summon? Elon responded that it's not good enough yet and that they're gonna be pushing the release by a few weeks. But when it does come out, it's gonna be awesome. And a Tesla tweet segment wouldn't be complete without Earl the Frunk Puppy Master stating that, hey, the Tesla app should bark or at least alert you if you drop below 20% when you're on dog mode, because we know that at that point, it automatically disables that feature. Elon responded stating, good point. So hopefully that will get an alert when that takes place so that you know that you need to get back to your car and help out your furry friend. That'll do it for this episode of Tesla Tweets. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any comments or questions about anything that we shared today, certainly leave them in the comments below. You can always find me on Twitter at PureTesla, or you can email me, jeff at puretesla.com. If you have tweets that you wanna share with us or information, hashtag Tesla Tweets is your way to go. Your tweet might even be featured on an upcoming episode. Until next time, I hope you have a great day and take care. When being used on day to day, I like that. Why is it all the time? Because I keep making mistakes, so I have to redo it.